physical presence. We have to be responsible and honor, um, honor this social distancing. So adapt, adapt, step into this. You may have dogs in your environment. You may have children in your environment. You may have dust bunnies in your environment. <laughs> Embrace that. Let that be part of your practice. So to start things off, lie on your back, bend your knees, feet to the ground, and rest here. Relax your jaw, teeth, and tongue. So you have the option to start here, lying on your back, knees bent. I do my best to articulate the poses I like you to move through. Feel free to look at your screen whenever needed. But I encourage you to let your eyes, your eyes take a break and let your ears do the work. Relax your jaw, teeth, and tongue. Soften your belly and back. Lying on your back with your head supported by the earth beneath you, or if you need a bolster or prop, please use that. But lying on your back, find a position where your head is supported. Relax your throat, your jaw, your teeth, your tongue deeply. In an upright world where we move around on our own two legs, the head and neck, especially the neck, especially the front of your neck, has to do a lot of work. Relax the front of your neck here. Relax your throat, your jaw, your teeth, your tongue. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. We're going to start with some floor work. Breathe in. Breathe out. Stretch your arms alongside you. Press your hands to the earth. Maybe you walk your feet in a little closer if available. Gently lift your chin so the front of the neck stays soft, but the back of your neck might begin to engage. On your inhale, lift your hips. As you exhale, lower. Breathe in, lift. Breathe out, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Once more, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. This time, please lift your hips and hold. Maybe you choose to walk your arms and shoulders a little closer together. With your hips lifted, your thighs, they're going to want to splay wide. I encourage you to gently draw the thighs towards each other. Just a gentle hug. This is engaging your midline, the midline, the anatomical midline, the middle line of your body. We're going to play with this tonight in our practice. Keep your hips high, your chest high, your chin lifted, and the thighs hugging towards each other. You may notice your inner thighs doing a little bit more work. This is the action of adduction, A-D, D as in dog. Adduction. One more breath in. Breathe out, lower slowly. We'll let our pelvis rest, and now we'll be lifting our arms overhead. On your inhalation, stretch your arms overhead. As you exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift your arms. Exhale, lower. This time, draw your arms overhead. Inhale, reach. If you have any kind of shoulder issue, maybe you go halfway. 
right? So maybe the fingertips point to the ceiling. That may be enough for your shoulders. If the shoulders allow, your arms might extend alongside your ears. Turn your palms to face each other and hug them towards each other as if you were squeezing a, a beach ball overhead or in front of your chest. So hug as if you were squeezing into a beach ball. Hug that midline. One more breath in, breathe out, lower your arms. Take two full breaths here. We're gonna repeat those two previous exercises, but adding midline to both the arms and the legs. Arms extend. The thighs hug towards each other as if squeezing a foam block. The arms are gonna hug towards each other energetically as if squeezing a small beach ball. Here we go, breathe in, lift your hips and arms. Breathe out, lower. Breathe in, lift your hips and arms. Breathe out, lower. Breathe in and lift. Breathe out, lower. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last one, inhale, lift and hold if available. If the arms overhead are too much, point the fingertips straight to the ceiling or keep them down on your mat. Hug your thighs towards each other wherever you are and lift your hips high, high, high. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath in. As you exhale, lower. Good. So again, our idea, our concept tonight that we're exploring is hugging the midline, hugging the middle line of the body. This gives a lot of stability to the joints. It reduces strain on the outer or lateral aspect of your joint, which can really be nice if maybe um, your physical activity has changed a little bit in the, in the past couple of weeks. Roll onto your belly when you're ready. Roll over, roll on to your belly. Stretch your legs back, each leg back. Let's come into Sphinx pose, lifting our chest and chin. Good. Now again, the tendency is the legs want to splay wide. So the legs are going to want to broaden away from each other. We want to counter that. Hug your thighs towards each other. Strengthen the inner thigh muscle. Hug your midline. We're going to keep playing with this. Hug the midline of your legs. Keep all 10 toenails pressing. Lift your chest and chin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. So it's not just about positioning your legs closer together, but that energetic hug. As if you were trying to squeeze the thighs together against a foam block. As if a foam block were between the thighs. One more breath in. Breathe out, lower, stack your palms, rest your forehead, and relax for a moment. Relax your jaw, teeth, and tongue. Continue to rest here. This idea of midline is not a one-and-done type of class theme. The idea is that midline is a universal action in every single pose. You can engage the midline. For me, when I practice yoga asana or yoga pose, it's about strengthening optimal functional alignment in my body. It's not about rigorous exercise or radical body position. It's about supporting my day-to-day -day posture and range of motion. Hugging your midline is a universal aspect that can be done in every pose. Tonight, we get to play with that together. Anthony. Oh my God. Anthony, it dropped. It dropped. God damn it, oh my fucking Lord. Yeah, it's my husband for you. Why would you do that? 
I, I wouldn't walk around on your tippy toes, Anthony. I'd fix it right now. Don't walk outside again. Anthony. Oh my God. I'm not seeing everybody. Okay. They can see me. Y'all can see me. Okay. Technical difficulties on our end, but I'm being told you can still see me. <laughs> We're gonna figure this out. We're still on our bellies. Legs are extended behind you. <laughs> We're continuing to play with midline here. Take your hands alongside you. Take a gentle lift for your cobra. This is a fun one. It's kind of like a seesaw, right? They can see me. We're good. Okay, good. As you exhale, we're going to gently lower the chest, lift the legs. Inhale, come up. Exhale, lower and lift. Inhale. Exhale, lower and lift. Inhale. Once more, exhale. Inhale. Lower down to the ground, come back into Sphinx pose, and I'm just checking in that I can see you all. We're good to go. My team's working hard here for me. Come back to hands and knees. Okay, good, I can see y'all. All right. Thank you for uh, sticking with us. From here, curl your left toes under, stretch through your chest, lift your chin and gaze. Breathe in, lift the left leg high. Breathe out. If this is your pose, stay here, go no further. If available, your right arm, your opposite arm can extend. So opposite leg, opposite arm extend. Keep the top of the bottom foot pressing. This may be your pose. You may inhale here, exhale, tap down, inhale, lift. You decide, exhale, tap down, inhale, lift. You may exhale, draw knee and elbow in, inhale, extend. Exhale, draw in. So remember any of the variations, inhale, extend. And then another option is to grab the knee and squeeze, exhale. Extend, inhale. I grab my knee and squeeze, exhale. I extend, inhale. Last one, exhale, grab and squeeze. Inhale, extend. From here, keep your leg lifted. Take your hand to the earth. Keep your knee extended. Take the ball of the foot to the floor, breathe in, breathe out, pivot the heel down, stretch your left arm up, inhale, exhale. Your bottom foot may wanna angle back slightly, that may help with balance. Left hand can come alongside the ear and stretch, breathe in, out, inhale, exhale. Keep this action going. Your left leg, your extended leg is gently pushing into the earth. That same midline action, inner thigh action. One more breath in, out, inhale, left arm up, take hand to your hip. Your back leg, your extended leg is gonna step to the front of your mat when you're ready. Exhale, step it forward. Hands frame the foot, curl your back toes under, extend through the right knee, the back knee. Bend into your left knee, stretch your chest forward. Now I want you to hug each thigh to the opposite side of your mat. So squeeze your thigh muscle to the opposite side of the mat, engaging the midline. Breathe in, out, inhale, exhale. We're coming into child's pose, down dog, or three-legged down dog. You decide. From here, hands to the earth. Maybe you make your way into child's pose. Maybe you come into down dog. Maybe you lift that leg high for three-legged down dog for three, two, one. And then we'll all come into an open knee child's pose to rest. Relax your jaw, teeth, and tongue. 
whenever you're working with me, I work with people at every developmental stage in life. I work with people at every physical, mental, and emotional capacity. So make this about you. Listen to the variations and the options I offer. Let me support you in your own independence and autonomy and decision making. One more breath in, out. Coming back to hands and knees when you're ready. Inhale up. Hands and knees. Exhale here. Open your 10 fingers. Press your full palm to the earth. All 10 toenails press. Opposite side. For me, it's my right leg. I curl my right toes under. I stretch back through my right heel. If you've already done this side, just do the opposite. This may be your pose. Go no further. If available, maybe the right leg lifts. It's not necessary. It's just an option. This may be your pose, go no further. If available, maybe left fingertips come out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, exhale. And again, if available, maybe the left arm lifts. Relax your jaw, tone your belly button towards your spine. This may be your pose, go no further. Now remember, we will do these abdominal uh, contractions and progressively deeper challenges. So you can stay here holding, or exhale, tap finger and toes, inhale, lift, exhale, tap, inhale, lift, exhale, tap, inhale, lift, stay there, or exhale, squeeze knee and elbow in, inhale, extend, exhale, squeeze it in, inhale, extend, stay there, or exhale, grab the knee, squeeze it in. Inhale, extend. Exhale, grab and squeeze. Inhale, extend. Last one. Exhale, grab and squeeze. Inhale, extend. Keep your leg lifted. As you exhale, your hand to the earth. Breathe in. Breathe out. Keep your leg extended. Take the balls of your foot to the floor. Stay here and breathe or pivot the heel down. This bottom foot can even pivot back slightly and your arm can lift. Stay here or stretch your right arm alongside your ear. Make your right side body long for three, two, one. Stay here, inhale. As you exhale, take your right hand to your hip. This Back leg, the extended leg is coming to the front of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forward. If it doesn't make it all the way, grab hold of the foot and pull it forward. From here, come onto your fingertips. Keep your left knee down if you choose, or curl your left toes, lift through the left knee. Fingertips press, spine elongates for three. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Out. Again, hug your thigh to the opposite side of the mat. So my right thigh hugs to the left. My left thigh hugs to the right side of my mat. Again, midline is not just something that we do in one practice and then leave it behind. It's a universal musculoskeletal, musculoskeletal, so muscle and skeletal, pattern that we seek to perpetuate in our body. One more breath in, out, yay. So from here, you can come into child's pose, down dog or three-legged down dog, you decide. Exhale your front leg back, come into child's pose, down dog, or if you choose, lift that right leg high, three-legged down dog for three, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale. Last breath in and out. Come back to hands and knees and let's all find an open knee child's pose. Open knee child's pose. Find your breath, relax your jaw, your head, your neck. If you are like me and you're learning how to work with a virtual digital platform, be patient with yourself. If you 
are like me and you prefer face-to-face -face physical contact, I encourage you to find the sweetness in this type of interaction. Even though we are in our own individual space, we're all here together. I think this is a time when we have all had to find adaptation. We have all had to find compromise to our preference. One more breath in, breathe out. Come back to hands and knees when you're ready. Knees hip distance apart, curl your toes under. So again, we're playing with this idea of midline. If you have a yoga block handy, you might wanna place it between your thighs. It's not necessary. You could just pretend, you could imagine you have a foam block between your thighs. Curl your toes under, bring your knees to hover. Gently push hands to the floor, lift your chin and gaze. Hug your thighs towards each other as if they were squeezing a foam block. So my knees are hovering. Variation, your knees can stay down, but you can engage as if hovering and as if squeezing a foam block. Two more breaths in, out, inhale, exhale. Let your knees go to the earth. Let your chest lift. Continue to hug your thighs together as if squeezing a foam block. From here, hands to your hips. So your thighs are hugging together as if squeezing a foam block and they maintain that hug. Hands to the hips, but now hug your elbows and your upper arms towards each other. So instead of them wide, they hug together, together, together. And now we begin to lift, lift, lift the chest. Inhale, exhale. So when we have the opportunity to work together, when you approach yoga asana as I do, it's not just about camel pose and done. It's about all the subtle actions that can be cultivated in camel pose. Tonight, we're focused on midline. Hug the thighs together. Hug the upper arms together. Breathe in. Out. Inhale. Exhale. On your inhalation, reach your arms overhead. As you exhale, take your hands down. Two options, well, many options, I should say. Watch me. You have the option to come into Utkatasana, chair pose. So I just walk the hands back, my heels drop, hips lifting, hands to the thighs, and I breathe here. You have the option for a deeper malasana. I walk the, knee, the hands back. I stay deeply bent in my knees and the thighs rotate open, okay? So when you're ready, I'll walk us through going into chair pose, but again, some of you may wanna go for that yoga squat. Breathe in, breathe out, press into the hands, lift your knees, walk the weight back into the feet, take your hands to your knees for Utkatasana. Some of you will be in Malasana, where the thighs are externally rotating, thighs are externally rotating, knees pointing to the second toe. Wherever you are, hug your heels towards each other. Engage your thighs towards your hip socket. Lift your chest. Breathe in. Breathe out. Variation. The hands can be down for malasana. Breathe in. Out. Good. Continue to breathe here. Some of you may be in Utkatasana. Energetically hug the legs. One more breath in. Out. We will all come to fierce pose, chair pose, toes pivot forward, knees forward. We come up to chair. Some of you may have met your match in chair pose, so come to standing mountain pose to rest. But energetically hug the thighs together as if squeezing a foam block. One more breath in, out, breathe in, breathe out. On your inhalation, rise, extend your arms overhead and stretch. As you exhale, come to standing Tadasana, mountain pose. Breathe in, breathe out. One more full inhale, exhale, relax your body. Shake opposite hand, opposite leg. So we'll continue to play with playful movement. 
with this idea of hugging the midline, right? So the middle line of your body, your nose, your sternum or your chest bone, your navel, between the thighs, that's our midline. So we're energetically hugging in with the musculature of our body. Take your hands to your hips, breathe in, breathe out, bend your knees, walk, step or jump your feet wide. Good. So I encourage using the long edge of your mat. So you might want to use your sticky mat. So if you need to turn and orient to the long edge of your mat, do so. Just make sure that you don't slip and slide. Feet are parallel to each other here. Contract the muscles of your legs and hug your thighs towards each other as if you were trying to scrunch the mat up between the, the feet here. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Pivot. Pivot your left toes out. Bend into your left knee. Warrior two on the second side. Good. So many of you are probably oriented to your screen, so I'm going to mirror. You're bent into your left knee, your arms are extended. Reach through your fingertips. But now, your left heel and your right arch, hug them together. Hug, hug, hug. That's the midline, breathe in. Breathe out, gaze to the middle finger on your left hand. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath in. As you exhale, stretch over your left leg. Take your forearm to the thigh. Palm up, fingertips active. Stretch your right fingertips forward in the direction you're facing. If you're facing your, your camera, your screen, you're going to reach your fingertips towards me, towards us. Inhale here, reach. As you exhale, draw the elbow back. As you inhale, reach towards forward. Exhale, draw the elbow, the chest, the gaze back. Inhale, extend. Exhale, draw back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw back. This time, take your right arm, stretch it alongside your ear. Variation, right hand can come to the hip. You decide what's optimal for you. For three, inhale. Exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. One more breath in, out. Warrior two, inhale, rise. Exhale. Inhale, 10 toes forward, hands to your hips. As you exhale, bend your knees, walk, step or jump your feet together. You can march in place. You can shake opposite hand, opposite leg. Stand in your Tadasana. Energetically hug your thighs towards each other. Find your midline. So you can look to me for a quick example as if you had a foam block between the thighs and you were squeezing into the block. We're recreating this action in our practice together today. Stand tall Tadasana, squeeze your imaginary block, lift your chest, breathe in. Breathe out, bend your knees, walk, step, or jump your feet wide. Nice, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle until you find a distance that suits you. I will mirror you. Your right toes pivot out, bend into your right knee. Good. So you should be on the opposite side here. From here, your right heel, your left arch hug together. Lift through your chest, breathe in, breathe out, bend, extend your arms. Lift your chest, soften the features of your face, but keep the legs strong and fierce, strongly hugging the midline of your body. Shoulders back, chest lifted, gaze to the middle right finger for three, inhale. Exhale, two, inhale, exhale. Once more, breathe in, breathe out. Reach over your right leg, take your right forearm to your thigh. Stretch your left fingertips towards me. It's reversed me on the film, Anthony. Breathe in, breathe out, squeeze your elbow back. Inhale, extend forward. 
Exhale, draw back. Keep both hands open and active as if you were wearing energy gloves. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw back. Draw foot and, uh, the feet towards each other. Inhale, reach. Exhale, draw back. Once more, breathe in. Breathe out. On your inhalation, rise, warrior two. I forgot one. Exhale, back, forearm to thigh. Your left arm alongside your ear for three. Inhale. Exhale. Two. Inhale. Exhale. Last one. Breathe in. Breathe out. Rise to warrior two. Inhale. Exhale, ten toes forward. Breathe in, reach your arms overhead, stretch. Breathe out, bend your knees, walk, step, or jump your feet together. Shake out opposite hand, opposite foot. So we're playing with this idea of hugging the midline. We're going to do a balancing pose here. Tree pose. Vrikshasana. You may want to have a wall, a family member, a chair, something handy to help you balance. You may not need it. What I ask that we find, though, is this midline action. Instead of just hanging out, misaligned in our tree pose, find stability so you can find more optimal alignment in your tree pose. So we can perpetuate this plumb line in the body versus misalignment in the body. Stand tall, Tadasana, breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Exhale. Soften your face. Relax your jaw. Firm the muscles of your legs. Neutral knees. Hug your midline. Inhale. As you exhale, stand into your right leg. Draw your left knee up. Good. So the left knee comes up. Variation, you can keep the toes to the floor. Take your hands to your hips. And again, if you have something handy to help you balance, I'm going to use the wall behind me. By all means, go for it. It's not necessary. It's just an option. The left knee may come up. From here, open the knee. External rotation. Variation, the left toes can stay down. You decide. Inhale. Left foot is going to the inner edge of the right leg, either the calf or the thigh, above or below the right knee. Now, push, push foot and leg together like crazy. Really drive that right thigh into the sole of your left foot. Lift tall through your spine, breathe in. Out, in, out. If you're able to bring your hands together to heart center, push them together fiercely, midline. Keep the foot and thigh pressing together, the palms pressing together. Stay here and breathe, or if you choose, arms go overhead and you get longer. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more breath in, breathe out, slowly release, and then shake it out, putting any fires out as needed. All right, stand tall, breathe in, breathe out. Find your footing as we prepare for the second side. Weight evenly distributed in your foundation, the soles of your feet. Knees neutral, not locked, muscles of your legs engaged. We are consciously contracting. Firm the legs, hug your midline, inhale. Stand into your left foot as you exhale. Bend the right knee and either start with the toes to the earth or bring your toes away from the ground, lifting your leg higher. Firm the muscles of this lifted leg. Inhale. Exhale. Hands to your hips. Inhale. Right thigh opens. Exhale. Remember, the toes can be down as needed. Breathe in. Breathe out. From here, you can take your foot to the inner calf or above the knee to the inner thigh. Avoid dumping into that standing leg. 
So I really push foot and thigh into each other. I find the midline of my body and I engage it and I lengthen along it. Stay here or maybe your palms come together and push into each other. Spine long, jaw relaxed, face soft. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more breath in. As you exhale, release and put the fire out. Shake out opposite hand, opposite foot. So if you haven't gotten a taste of midline yet, this is another really good example. Anthony, toss me that pillow there. So if you have a blanket handy or like a hard, or hard surface, you can try this or you can just watch me. One foot on the sticky mat, one foot on my blanket, and I go out as wide as I can to avoid splitting my pants and falling into a center split. But now my inner thighs are working like crazy, right? So maybe you don't have instant access to this, but you can go, oh wait, okay, I can see what she's saying. My inner thighs are working like crazy to keep my legs from just dumping away from each other, right? So I set that aside. Now the idea, in your Tadasana, find that same fierce action as if, if you relaxed, your legs would splay away from each other and you dump into a split. Tall in the midline, lift your chest, breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, exhale, hands to the hips. Now bring your feet together. This is, um, so yoga asana is infinite, right? The possibility for pose is infinite. But this kind of tips over a little bit into qigong. If available, your feet come side by side. Bring your hands to your low belly. This is called bamboo blowing in the wind. I really like this one. So from here, lift your chest. And if you're comfortable, soften your gaze or close your eyes. Bamboo blowing in the wind. If the feet are together, and if you soften your gaze or close your eyes, you may notice a little swaying effect in this pose, as if you were a piece of bamboo gently being blown in the breeze. Continue to explore this. Notice as you personify bamboo blowing in the wind, when you hug your midline, Essentially, we're just seeking that balance. Right? We seek that midline, that middle point of stability. And so you'll feel your body gently wavering or vacillating around it. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale here. Exhale. Open your eyes. Take your feet hip distance apart. Shake out the knees a little bit. Don't lock the knees. And stand tall, Tadasana. It's not as apparent here as it may be here how much our body has to calibrate, right? Bamboo blowing in the wind. We feel that work. So Melanie, who's on the call with us, has a, has a, a young child. This is a time where we develop a lot of our stability to stand upright. When we get to my age, we tend to take it for granted. We're like, ah, oh, I've got this upright standing position. But there's all this subtle midline at play. Breathe in, breathe out. Hands to your hips, bend your knees. This may be your pose, go no further. Perhaps you bring the inner edge of your feet together once again. This may be your pose, go no further. We're going for eagle pose, right? Many variations for the many people with us tonight on the video. Stay here and breathe. Or standing into your left foot, make your right foot light. This may be your pose. Maybe you take your right foot across the left foot. This may be your pose. Perhaps you take your right thigh across the left thigh, but bend the left knee deep enough so the right toes can touch the earth. This may be your eagle. From here, some of you may choose to squeeze the right foot to the outer calf. Some of you may have the option to hook the right foot behind the left calf. Squeeze your thighs together. Open your arms as you inhale. Your right leg is on top. Take your left arm on top. 
left arm on top. Maybe the backs of the palms come together. Maybe you're able to cross the wrist and forearms and bring your palms together. Notice how your bamboo in the wind shows up once again. Find your midline. Squeeze the legs to the midline, your arms to the midline. Breathe in, out, inhale, exhale. One more breath in, breathe out, unravel, shake it out. <sighs> so when we train these actions in our body, they start more, more gross, more rudimentary. They're really like constricted. Um, as you practice them, they become more refined. I always use the example like the grace of a dancer, a ballerina. Tremendous strength with tremendous agility. Stand tall, Tadasana. Breathe in. Breathe out. So for some of you, your eagle pose may be this bamboo in the wind. You decide. If available, breathe in. Breathe out. Bend the knees, hands to your hips. Stay here and breathe. If available, the feet come together. Hug your midline and notice how your balance has already been tested. We have many yoga teachers on the call tonight. So think about these steps, these stages that you can offer to your students instead of expecting everyone to go into full eagle pose. This may be your pose. Stand into your right leg if available, bring your left heel up, get light in your left foot. This may be your pose, go no further. If available, maybe the left foot comes over the right. And again, we'll continue to progress, perhaps the left thigh over the right, but the right knee bends deep enough so the left toes are to the floor. Find your midline, squeeze your thighs together. Stay here and breathe. Or perhaps the left foot hugs to the outside of the right calf. For some of you, you'll be able to hook the foot behind your calf. Left leg is on top, right arm. Right arm on top. Back of the palms together, stay here and breathe, or cross the forearms and palms and bring the palms together. Push your hands together, push your thighs together for three, two, one more deep breath in, out. Inhale, unravel, Ooh, shake it out. Put the fire out as I like to say. Stand tall, Tadasana. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. Continue to gently hug muscle to bone in the legs. Once more, hands to your hips, bend your knees. Take a wide-legged stance. Exhale. Walk, step, or jump. Good. And again, you may want to use the long edge of your mat, the width of your mat. You decide just as long as you feel stable. We're going to pivot to our right, coming into a high lunge. Pivot your toes to the right. Pivot your left heel high. Bend into your right knee. Once again, the thighs hug towards the opposite end of the mat energetically. You'll feel stability wrap the pelvis. If you can, bend a little deeper into the right leg. Go a little straighter with the left. Hands to the hips or palms together in front of the heart. Another variation, arms overhead, you decide. Wherever you are, lift your low belly, your chest, your chin. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Exhale. From here, bring your hands to the inside of your right leg. Nice. I'm going to turn my body to face the camera so you can see a little bit better, but your hands are to the inside of your front leg. Front thigh, hug it in. Squeeze it to the side waist. This may be your pose. Go no further. Do keep this front leg hugging, hugging in. Those are the inner thigh muscles. Stay here and breathe, or maybe the front heel lifts. Maybe you come onto the tips of the toes of the front foot. Maybe you come into a half crow with the right foot floating, right thigh hugging into the front arm for three, two, one. Down dog or three-legged down dog. So either step your right foot back to down dog or lift it high for three-legged dog. Inhale, exhale, 
One more breath in. Breathe out. Hug that right side to the midline, to the opposite side of your mat. Breathe in. Breathe out. Come to plank pose, top of a push-up. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your knees. Lower your chest. Inhale, lift for your variation of cobra. Remember, in cobra, hug your thighs together. Don't let them splay wide. Find that midline. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more inhale. Child's pose as you exhale. Open the knees if that's more conducive to you. Relax your head and neck. You're always welcome to take any variation of any pose that suits you. Two more deep breaths. On your inhalation, come to hands and knees. We're coming to standing. So for some of you, you may want to come to standing right now, but you can do so by moving through down dog. So either come to standing or curl your toes, lift your hips for a breath or two. Breathe in, out, inhale, exhale. Now look to the front of your mat, inhale. Bend your knees, exhale, walk, step or jump your feet forward. Find a gentle hug of your midline, lengthen your spine, inhale, bow as you exhale. Chair pose, bend your knees, inhale, sweep your arms overhead, exhale. Breathe in, Tadasana, breathe out. Standing in Tadasana here. If you haven't heard me say this before, Tadasana is just essentially the study of our anatomical neutral. We're coming to a wide-legged stance. When you're ready, bend your knees, walk, step, or jump your feet wide. Same thing, second side. So, going to our left, if you've already done this side, just do the opposite. Pivot your left toes, hands to your hips for stability, and hug the hands in. That gives some midline action and support. Pivot your back heel high, bend into your front knee. Gently extend through the back knee, and again, the thighs. Your thighs hug to the opposite side of your mat. So the left thigh hugs to the right side of the mat, and vice versa. Lift your chest, breathe in, breathe out. Remember the example of my foot on a pillow on the, the hardwood floor, the kind of work I'd have to do. So hug the legs in as if they were each on a piece of towel on a hardwood floor wanting to slide away from each other. Stay here and breathe your hands to your heart or again, arms overhead. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, two more breaths in, out, inhale. Hands to the inside of your front leg, exhale. Good, from here, hands to the inside of your front leg. Your front knee hugs, hugs, hugs the front shoulder. Stay here and breathe. If available, maybe the heel comes up or you come onto the tips of the toe or perhaps you bring the leg up like a half crow, lift your chest and chin. Remember, this can all be accomplished with that front foot solidly planted on the ground. One more inhale, exhale. Down dog or three-legged down dog, your choice. If you choose, lift that leg. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. One more full breath in. Exhale, come to plank pose, top of a push-up. Variation, the knees can stay down. Inhale, lower all the way to the ground as you exhale. Tops of the feet press. As you inhale, lift for a cobra or a sphinx. Stay here, exhale. Breathe in, inhale. Breathe out, exhale. Inhale here. 
Exhale, come to hands and knees. Open your knees, rest in child's pose. From here, come to a seated position. <clears throat> Knees bent, feet to the ground. So again, we're playing with this concept of midline. This will be, um, this will segue into the most challenging pose of our practice tonight. Then it's all about relaxation. And then I really encourage y'all to stick around if you're interested for a little bit of the socialization. I have some fun prompts for us. We had a good time with this last week, so hopefully you'll stick around. All right, take your hands behind you, lift your chest. Energetically, draw your thighs towards each other. Breathe in, breathe out. So I am energetically, I'm gonna turn slightly to the camera instead of letting my legs splay, I'm energetically hugging them towards each other as if squeezing a foam block. This may be your pose, go no further. If available, take your hands forward between the legs and reach. As you do this, push your thighs to the, the outer arm. So push into the outer arm, the outer arm resists slightly. This may be your pose, go no further. This is great conditioning for crow pose, a really fun and attainable arm balance. This may be your pose, go no further or rock back onto the sit bone, see if you can lift the legs, and now squeeze the legs together like crazy with the arms providing a little bit of resistance. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale, come into Baddha Konasana to relax. So even here in our Baddha Konasana bound angle pose, knees open, Soles of the feet can push into each other, chest lifts. So midline is still here. It's not done. Now that I'm in a different pose, I recreate it in this position. Stay here in Baddha Konasana and watch me. You're welcome to fold forward if you'd like, but just something that you can easily see me while benefiting from a yoga position. All right, so we just did this crazy work or this crazy work or this crazy work. That may be what you work with. You also have the option to work here, hugging, reaching, you can push slightly, or for even more action, round, and I'm gonna push my thighs towards each other while pressing my arms into my thighs. And then I'll come down and rest before I fatigue. Yeah, so remember, you could stay at any of the previous poses. If you choose, lie onto your back. Remember, you could stay doing those variations of boat poses. <coughs> so I'm going to progressively <coughs> walk us into this here. Your knees bent, feet to the ground. Go ahead and lift your chest and chin. Look in the direction of your thighs. So we begin to engage the abdominal muscles here. Firm the muscles of your legs and energetically hug them towards each other. Again, this may be your pose. Go no further. Maybe the hands reach and push to the inner thighs, inner thighs pushing to the hands. Stay here and go no further. If available, feet come away from the earth, knees bend towards the shoulders. My thighs hug into the arms. My arms press and resist the hug of the thighs for three. Really hug the midline, two, one, come down and rest. Relax your jaw, teeth, and tongue. We're gonna rock back up to Baddha Konasana. Come back to your bound angle pose. So this is where you get to decide. You get to decide what's ultimately best for you. You can practice here. You can practice lying on your back, same action that we just did, right? This here. Or you have the option to play a little bit with the um, full crow pose, okay? And then after that, we're cooling down, we're relaxing, then we're socializing, all righty? So choose your starting point, whether seated 
or lying on your back or in malasana. All right, you decide. There we go. So you might be seated. You might be lying on your back. I wish I could have three of me in front of you to do the example, but I'm gonna give the example of Malasana as I've demonstrated the past two options. All right, so if you're on your sit bones or on your back, you know what to do, find your edge. If you're in Malasana, we're gonna take our hands to the earth, lift our sit bones, lift our gaze. Walk the hands back, the knees to the outer tricep or the outer upper arm. And we're gonna squeeze the legs together like crazy. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Maybe you come onto the balls of the foot, the tips of the toes, or maybe the feet lift for three, two, one. Everyone come down, rest, and let's all meet in Baddha Konasana once again. Stretch your legs out wide, please. Upavista Konasana. So now we begin our cool down. So the idea with yoga asana, at least when you and I get to hang out, is that we're refining alignment and articulation within our body. We don't get crow just because we were born that way. We get crow because we refine strength and mobility in our body or whatever pose we have as a goal. Lift your chest, inhale, straighten through your legs. But even here, the thighs hug towards each other energetically. A good example, take your hands in front of you, walk forward as far as it feels comfortable. So notice what it feels like to have the support of your hands. Your legs don't have to do as much. Take another breath in and out. Walk back upright. Now let's play with that. Take your hands to your hips, shoulders on your back, chest lifting. Engage your legs. So as we draw the shoulder blades together, that's another element of midline. Firm the muscles of your legs and once again, hinge forward. So there's likely a lot more muscle action in the legs here than there was here because your hands were preventing the face plant. Here it's the muscles of your legs preventing the face plant. Breathe in, out. Inhale, exhale. One more deep breath in and out. Rise as you inhale to your right leg. Reach for the right leg. So there's a slight twist, a slight spinal rotation as we forward fold. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in, out. Rise as you inhale, opposite side, exhale, reach. Stretch for the opposite foot, lengthen through your spine, inhale. Keep the muscles of your legs strong, exhale. Breathe in, breathe out. One more full breath in and out. Come center as you inhale. Once more, fold down the center as you exhale. This time, use your hands, but keep your legs engaged as if your hands were to your hips. So cultivate a deeper integrity in the pose, even if the pose doesn't demand it. One more full breath in. Out. We're going to come onto our backs. Rise as you inhale. Lie onto your back as you exhale. Hug your right knee in, extend your left leg straight. See if you can play with a more gentle expression of midline. Instead of the right leg splaying to the side and your left thigh rolling out, can they gently hug towards each other? Breathe in, out. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna switch, breathe in, breathe out, switch. Left knee in, right leg extend. So again, the thighs softly hug towards the midline instead of just passively collapsing. A gentle tone of the muscles, even though we're elongating the muscle tissue. Breathe in, 
out, inhale, exhale. We're gonna switch once again, breathe in, breathe out, switch, right leg in, left knee out. We're going for a spinal twist. Variation is to have both knees in, this will be less of a twist for the spine. So make sure if that's your better option, do both knees in. Otherwise, your left leg is straight, your right knee is bent. Inhale, right knee to the left side of your body. Exhale, cross it over. So right leg across. Try to keep your right shoulder blade down. Gently extend through your left leg. Softly look over your right shoulder. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more deep breath in. And out. Inhale deeply here. Come on to your back as you exhale. Both knees into your chest. Feel free to do any wiggling, any moving that you would, that you would like. When you're ready, extend your right leg out. Keep your left knee in. Breathe here. Good. Breathe in. Breathe out. Remember, for less of, a, less of a twist, both knees stay together. This may be more optimal for you. You decide. If you choose right legs extended, left knee is in. We're going to twist to our right. Take your left knee to the right side of your mat. Feel free to do any wiggling, shifting, and adjusting once you get there. And then try to keep your left shoulder reaching towards the earth. A soft extension in your right leg. Breathe in, out, inhale, exhale. One more deep breath in and out, inhale. Come on to your back as you exhale. Center your pelvis, hips, and shoulders. Draw your knees towards your chest one last time. Exhale, hug your knees in. Inhale, let the legs extend slightly. Exhale, hug your knees in. Inhale, extend slightly. Last one, exhale, hug your knees in. On your inhale, extend each leg out and down. Shavasana. So what's nice about studying these universal principles is that they don't only teach us how to engage the body, but also equally disengage the body. Let's explore this. Lying on your back, gently straighten your knees and hug your legs together. So hug the thighs together. Notice the work in your inner thighs to maintain this. So the inner edge of your thighs should be touching the inner edge of your calves facing each other, if not touching. Notice this action. This is our midline. Now, knowing our midline can teach us to relax away from our midline. So on your exhale, squeeze a little bit more and then release it on inhale. Relax your legs. The thighs, the toes rotate away from each other. Please stay here and breathe. We'll take about a five minute relaxation together. Although we may be in different places, we are also together in this time, in this space, in this awareness. We are sharing an intention. Relax your forehead, your eyes, your ears, your jaw, teeth, and tongue. Relax your neck and throat and let your head be heavy. Relax your chest, your rib cage, your spine, your shoulders and shoulder blades. 
Relax the muscles of your back. Relax your arms, elbows, wrists, hands, and fingers. Relax your pelvis and release your legs, hips, thighs, knees, shin, calf, ankles, feet, and toes. Relax your body. With each exhale, let your body relax a little deeper and a little deeper and a little deeper. Continue to relax in this constructive rest position. While you relax your body, I would like to offer a seed of contemplation. Notice the pleasant sensations in your body. Notice the pleasant sensations in your body without being attached to these pleasant sensations. Notice any unpleasant sensations in your body or your environment. Notice any unpleasant sensations without becoming attached. Now notice the neutral. Notice any neutral sensations in your body or environment. Notice any neutral sensations without becoming attached to them. Expand your field of awareness. Observe the pleasant, unpleasant, and neutral without growing attached. Expand your field of awareness and your practice of equanimity. Notice your capacity to hold a space of equanimity without becoming attached to the neutral, the unpleasant, or the pleasant. Breathe in equanimity. Breathe out equanimity. Rest here. Notice your breath. Deepen your breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. Begin to wiggle your toes and fingers. Roll your wrist and ankles. In your own time and in your own way, stretch, bend, twist, move as you desire, however that may be.
When you're ready, find your way to a comfortable curled position on either side of your body and rest. Breathe in, breathe out. One more inhale, exhale. Come upright to a seated position. On your inhalation, sit tall. Find a gentle hug of your midline here, right? So an example would be just kind of slouching. My body just kind of melts down and out. When I engage my midline, I hug in and extend. I find more neutral alignment and extension in my spine. Breathe in, breathe out. To me, the practice of yoga should never be about the radical expression of pose, but about the authentic exploration of self. Finding an alignment that suits you, that benefits you, not only in our young, younger years, but in our golden years as well. Breathe in, breathe out. Please extend your arms overhead. Hug that imaginary beach ball. As you exhale, bring that energy into the heart center. This is another thing from Qigong. Inhale, extend as if reaching for the heavens and grasping a piece of the heavens. Hug it, pull it down into the heart center. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, extend, reach for the heavens or the divine or that beyond you. Grab hold, pull it into the heart. Exhale. Last one. Inhale, extend, gently take hold of grace, exhale, bring it within the heart center. So we'll bring our asana practice to a close, sealing our asana practice, namaste. And now I invite you to stick around for a brief socialization. Um, we also have a number of, of uh, trainees on this call for the weekend as well, but we have a fun activity, okay? So it's not us all staring at our cameras and wondering what to say. I've got some suggestions. I've got some thoughts, all right? So one of the first things I'll open up the floor to, what we're trying to do on these Fridays is um, offer a suggested uh, drink. And this can be a mocktail, so non-alcoholic.